some clips and some high temp 8 millimeter spark plug wires. I hate this stuff.
Alright All right, guys, this is a spare box, the lifesaver. Um, I really recommend it. So this is what I have in mind. A bunch of extra vacuum hose. I have no idea how many vacuum hoses I've gone through because of stupid ass headers or just because they're bouncing around. Extra light bulbs. Always need extra light bulbs. Spark plug wires. This might be overkill, but I go through them so much that I need to carry this many. And then I have a bunch of T's floating around for the vacuum lines. Um, I have spare EGR. I have a spare fuel pressure regulator. A spare radiator cap. I have an OBD2 reader in case anybody has OBD2 that needs to be read. I also have an OBD1 reader that's around inside somewhere. I have spare maps, a uh, cap and rotor, a spare ignition coil. Um, I forgot what this is called, but it controls a vacuum to the fuck, to the EGR and the main vacuum to other things. I forgot what it's called right now. O2 sensor, a uh, spare belt, just random sensors that I always carry too. This is a pressure sensor, an oil pressure sensor, a water temperature sensor. The, I forgot what this is called, but it goes on top of the EGR. It goes in here, like that. And yeah, um, PVC valves, or PCV valves. Uh, extra lug nuts. I lost two already, so I'm always glad I can carry these. Uh, extra TPS sensor. So yeah, just shit that I, you know, might need or ever fails on me. I got it. Save the day. So yeah, that's in my spare box. And um, the only reason, well, the only reason I carry this around, the spare top radiator hose, because as you guys saw, I did the split for the adapter, so you know, it's still in good condition. So you know, I throw it away. So yeah, that's always here. Bears all the way in the back. Then I also carry, of course, fluids, oil, coolant, uh, transmission oil, diff oil, just a bunch of goodies. Alright, what's up guys? So, I got the wires put on. So what happened yesterday is that we were driving to Joshua Tree. The plastic clips that I usually use to hold my wires apart from each other started sagging from all the header heat. So they started sagging to the point where it kind of melted into a V-shape and it just dropped right on top of the header. Luckily it was only one wire and I had to replace it for it. But yeah. Uh, that happened on the way there, and I'm very proud of myself because usually I freak out and get fucking pissed really fast. But, kept my cool. I didn't want to ruin the day, so just swapped it out real quick, and then we were on our way. And it was like, the thing that sucked about it, well, the thing that was good about it, and it sucked too, because it happened about 10 minutes from the entrance. Which I'm glad it happened then, because if it would have happened like 10 minutes from home, I would have probably been like, you know what, fuck this, we're going home. But, you know, I got to work on that. Patience is in my friend, and... I don't think it ever be, but you know, we can all work on something. But yeah, I got the new wires installed. I got the metal clips put on. Uh, I'm still using some of the original plastic ones, but as far as to keep them up when places where it's gonna be hot, I use the metal ones. And then what else? Check it around the block right now. It's brand new. Uh, runs like I did before all that happened. Cause yeah, yesterday I started driving and drove fine the whole way there we got 
I don't know if you guys been to Joshua Tree, but we got to the city of Joshua Tree, and then as you start going up, I just lost power. And I was like, what the fuck's going on? And I opened the hood, I heard it ticking. And at first I thought it was exhaust leak. I told my wife, I was like, fuck it, we'll just find a welder. Had weld up the exhaust real quick. But, oh, which reminds me, I put the tailpipe back on. The dump was cool, but when they were sleeping and then I would fucking step on it, you could see like her kind of like move around and yeah, I felt bad. So I put the tailpipe back on and uh, it runs the same, doesn't matter. It's still a three inch, so I'm getting the same kind of power. So I did that. What else? Today's just gonna be chill. Uh, I'm just gonna upload this video. Uh, stickers back in stock. Sorry for everybody that DM me. Uh, they were sold out for a while, but you know they're back. And then what else? Mm. All right, now I'll show you guys. So the AC. Uh, they said they fixed the AC. Then they said they forgot something. And now I have nothing in there. There's like completely no charge. So I fixed the vacuum lines. I fixed the vents. It's blowing perfectly now, like it's supposed to. But there's no freon in there. So it turns out I have a leak. I have to go buy O-rings and do that, but I'm gonna save that for another day. So for now, I went to Walmart and we bought this uh, rechargeable personal fan, and I mounted it right on top of her car seat. I'll show you guys right now, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of myself. And yeah, I actually worked that yesterday. She didn't sweat at all. Uh, yesterday was a blast. If you guys have been in Joshua Tree, I recommend it. Um, we did the whole tourist thing just because it was, like I guess, National Park Week and it was free, so. We just did a tourist thing, we didn't go to the back and off-road or anything. We hit a couple trails, we hit a something sheep horn or some shit trail or and then we hit the ge the geological trail. That was pretty cool. But yeah, it was nice. And then well we went some other one, some mining one. So saw the old mine, saw some caves. So it was pretty fun. We had a blast, you know. We just wanted to chill, have an actual day out with the family and just hang out, which I would admit I'm not good at I'm like more like running gun and just get shit done. My wife's more like always lay back and hang out. So, you know, I kind of tried it yesterday. It felt good. Uh, right now I'm working on my tan. Sorry for these fucking white shoulders. So, yeah. Um, short video. Just worked on the spark plug wires. Got some shit done. And as far as the Edelbrock uh, intake plan, I don't think I'm going to go with it. Like, I want the performance. It'll match it perfectly with everything. But I keep hearing a lot of bad things about low-end torque. And if I'm gonna be off-roading, I need that low-end torque. So, I don't know. I still can't decide. And it costs fucking a lot. It's like $800. And then with the throttle body that I want, the BBK, it's like 1200 So, I better be damn sure that I, want, that I need that before I start ordering. But whatever, we'll see. I don't know. What's another thing I was gonna say? Yeah, I think that's it. I think uh, next weekend, we're just gonna chill. It's starting to heat up, so I really wanna get this AC figured out. Um, the guy told me too, he was like, hey, like, I feel bad, but I have to charge you. We're gonna have to recharge it and then see if it holds, which obviously it didn't, so I need to go buy a new dryer. I need to go buy a new pressure switch. And I need to buy what else? an orifice tube. And that should be it, and I think the o-ring kit and then just redo all the o-rings and then we'll be back he told me the compressor is good it's kicking on it's just i have a leak somewhere so i need to figure out that leak but most likely it's a it's an o-ring so that'll be easy so yeah thank you for watching thank you for watching my previous video no. i'm not doing this channel just because i think i'm gonna get rich i think it's cool like the feedback and you guys watching and enjoying it so you know Subscribers are staying kind of steady, but whatever, you know, it'll come up one day. So for now, thank you for everybody that's been watching. Tell your friends. Like I said, tell your grandma. Grandmas love me. But yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you for all the support. Uh, stickers are back in stock. And yeah, have a good weekend. Go fuck some shit up and enjoy a beer. Thank you. So we bought this personal fan, it has three speeds. So one, two, three, and then it kicks ass. I think they like it, and then you just point it down, 
and then it hits Layla perfectly in the head. And then you can do that, get her whole body. This thing has a nice wide hit, so I like it. And then it's just rechargeable. And then we just fold it up, turn it off, and then it has it over here somewhere, which is perfect because then I can just bring the wire down, turn this bad boy on, and then just charge it. So yeah, that's a little fix for now. And then the days that, you know, I got long drives and I don't want to kill the truck with the AC, we can just kick this on and puts it in work. I like it. She fucking didn't sweat at all yesterday, so yeah.